it is currently like 5.30 and we're here to let my cat out every morning. Hi, my name is Jan Maurice. I am 16 years old. I am Tagalog. I am based in New York and Pennsylvania, born in New Jersey, and I am a creative an artist of many traits, if you will, as I enjoy to sing, write, act, model, direct, dance, and so much more. I'm also the founder and director of Project Calendula, a mental health awareness initiative. Our work is based on education and advocacy, and we just launched our website on February 20th, so please go check that out. Anyways, this is a sort of realistic look inside my day. Before I start, I briefly want to show you around Project Helena's website, which we just launched, and tell you about what we do. Our mission is to spread awareness to reduce the stigma around mental health and mental illness by educating and advocating. We promote awareness by telling our own stories, sharing artwork, connecting with similar initiatives, and simply starting conversations in our own community. If we scroll back up to the top, we can visit our resources page, in which you can find resources on where to seek professional treatment or where to learn more. However, you can start your education journey right here at Project Calendula and learn more about the topics listed below. You can also start your advocacy journey here and utilize our advocacy guides to help you along the way. In our blog page, you'll find personal and general stories related to mental health, our positivity page, and art gallery. We started back in October of 2020, but if you really want to learn more about us, you can visit our About Us page. And while you're at it, maybe check out our Instagram. Anyways, that's all. Back on with the rest of the video. Don't mind me really skating, but I hope you'll know I'm only being this productive because I procrastinate long enough and deadlines are approaching. Okay. <laughs> we lost power. Um, I still have class and webinars to attend this morning, so hopefully my computer doesn't die. Besides that, I'll see you folks on the other side. Ah. And we're back. That doesn't mean I get to get off my computer just yet. I spend quite a lot of my time trying to educate myself on current events and politics, which has led me into quite a bit of advocacy, so I will be going back to do writing, researching, and networking. With that being said, this is your trigger warning for police brutality, racial injustice, and suicide. You have the option to skip forward one minute and 30 seconds to get on with the rest of the video. I'm organizing a series of webinars for BIPOC mental health, and our next one will be on Asian mental health due to the uprising of anti-Asian attacks in the US. I live in Monroe County, and this is where Christian Hall died. He had reached out to the police during his suicide attempt in hopes to receive support, but instead was shot in the chest seven times. At this time, I'd also like to acknowledge the death of Angelo Quinto, who also died during a mental health crisis using the same knee neck restraint that killed George Floyd. I'm calling on you folks to take action. Contact your local law enforcement and those branches surrounding you to end the use of knee neck restraint and require body cams. Contact your local government officials about mental health funding that they can invest into mental health crisis response teams or expand on support resources overall. Tell them about how mental health needs to be considered in their conversations. I'd like to take this moment to acknowledge the death of all who have died at the hands of the justice system, especially due to racism. Those who have died due to suicide, those communities of the dearly departed, and anyone struggling right now. I have provided a list of mental health resources in the description box below, and please remember, you are not alone, and you are loved. And if we can, we can put those resources right here, right? Thank you, Girl Genius Editors. Mwah. So I was um, meditating, um, and then my cat came to hang out, so now we're reading this book that she really likes. <laughs> Um, All Along You're Blooming by Morgan Harper Nichols, and I highly recommend that y'all get it, or at least subscribe to her newsletter, where she has encouraging words of wisdom to brighten your day every single day. And this is me outside. I literally live in the middle of nowhere. I'm probably just gonna sniff the snow, not gonna lie, but I did get outside because Allie, the social worker I meet with through a program called Youth Outreach, always reminds me I need to get outside for some fresh air and some sun or some snow. <laughs> I just finished a lot of work for Project Calendula. Um, I looked through our site's SEO, I published my own blog, I edited someone else's presentation, I talked to a lot of people for recruitment and collaborations. Um, besides that, I worked on creative writing and getting the rest of my schoolwork done so I don't have anything for the weekend. You couldn't tell from my super precise haircut, I cut my own hair and tonight my mom asked if I could cut hers so she is in a trash bag! Anyways, we'll see how it goes. Nights, I usually would be painting on my chaos wall on TikTok Live, but I've been restricted once again, and I think this time for posting Black History Month content, which sucks. So 
So instead of painting, I just got off the phone with my super cool friend, Sena Gandhi, world class dancer. Um, I'm about to change into my PJs and wind down for the night. If you haven't noticed already, I spent a lot of my day doing creative tasks. I've been performing all of my life. My dream job for a while was actually to be um, in Montana. I've done most of my work at Young at Arts, an outstanding program in Bronxville. I'm on a need-based scholarship there, and I've been granted so many amazing opportunities, such as performing in Tennessee, Carnegie Hall, and Puerto Rico. I've met some of my closest friends there, and also a bunch of cool Broadway people like Jelani Aladdin, Ariel Jacobs, and Thane Jasperson. I've been part of their theater program, their instrumental program as a jazz vocalist, and I've even done private lessons with their founder and director, Sharon Pirtle, for classical singing. The program is run at Christ Church Bronxville, where I'm also a part of their youth group community, EYC. They have given me the opportunity to travel to Italy and Teze, which is a monastery in southern France, which is like my favorite place in the world. Since I've been spending a lot of time in my room, I've done quite a bit of redecoration, but I've noticed that these photos of my opportunities with YAA and EYC have always stayed up. They are not only a reminder of my privilege to travel, which I love because I'm a freaking Sagittarius, but also a reminder of lifelong memories. <laughs> it's getting pretty late, so I'm head to bed. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my little vlog. To support me, you can find me on Instagram at heyjj underscore and at ambitiousvicious on TikTok. Please go check out www.projectcolendula.com or find us on Instagram, Project Colendula. We have open applications for the blog, art, and even team members. To apply, check out the card link in the description box below or email us directly at calendulacrew at gmail.com. Shout out to Simply Neural Network and thank you so, so much, Girl Genius, for this feature. I am so grateful for our entire wonderful community. Thank you so, so much for watching once again. Peace and love. Bye.